This video is part three. If you have already learned how to get that first layer of your Rubik's Cube solved, then you're in the right place. So next, we're gonna look at this next part. So you might wanna make a note here if you've printed this out for yourself in the tool, is you have, these are solving for the middle layer. So we've solved this. We're going to now flip it over so the yellow's on top. And what we want to do is find the pieces that are gonna go on this. So for example, right here, say it out loud, or maybe not. Here's the blue center, here's the orange center. Therefore, this piece right here should be the blue and blue and orange piece. Do we see it up there? Not at the moment, it's, it might be lost at the moment. Um, here, you know what? I see this right here, this is orange and green, so it's gonna go between the orange and green piece. So this one is gonna go right here between the green center and the orange center. So this is gonna go here. Now, to read this, I need to start by setting an upside down T shape. Now, if you look closely, you can see these upside down T shapes. So right now it's close to what I need. However, I would not call this an upside down T shape. I want to match this over to the green side. So we're gonna rotate this once. And now I would say I have my upside down T shape. Now, the next question is, based on this picture, one has an arrow going to the right. This one has an arrow going to the left. So now you gotta ask yourself, this piece, is it going there to the red side or there to the orange side? That's where we want it to go. It's gonna go to the right. So this right here is the directions I wanna follow. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. In terms of memorization, if you remember it like four and four, there's sort of two phases to this algorithm. The first one is matching this piece with the corner. The second part is inserting them. So I'm gonna follow these directions, up, right, up inverted, right inverted. That matches my two pieces together. And then I'm gonna follow the next four steps, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And that inserts those into spot. We now want to find our next edge piece that is going to go on our second layer. I'm seeing, um, I know everything that's yellow belongs up here. This one has no yellow on it, so this is one of the ones I want. Red is facing the side, so I want to match it up to this, so I now have my upside down T-shape. This would not be correct because the red is not matching the blue here. We want it on the red side. So it's the red blue piece. Is it going to go here or here? You tell me. This would be the right, this would be the left, okay? Based on whatever you said, I'm hoping that you said to the left, we're gonna follow these directions going to the left. So I'm gonna go up inverted, left inverted, up, left. That matches these two pieces together. And then we're gonna go up, front, up inverted, front inverted. And I now have that piece right where I want it to, I have on my second layer. All right, next I'm gonna scan up here. Ah, here's another non-yellow piece. The other three are yellow pieces. This one goes right here because this is the green and red. Now, is this in the right spot? No, it's not because the red is not matching the green. That does not give us our upside down T. I need to bring it over to the red side to get our upside down T shape. Next, am I gonna go to the left or to the right? I'm hoping you said to the right. We're gonna follow our algorithm to the right. So up, right, up inverted, right inverted, matches them together. Up inverted, front inverted, up front. And now that is in the correct spot. One thing you may find here is you may find something like this where it's in backwards. It's in the right spot, just it's backwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take any random piece up here and we're gonna insert it into there. So. For example, if I wanted to insert this in here, imagine I have my upside down T shape and I'm going to the right and I can follow this algorithm to bring that into there. And that will end up bringing this piece up to the top. All right, so now that piece is over here. Let's go ahead and match it up to our blue and orange. We want it to go there now. 
we're again going to use this algorithm. Up inverted, left inverted, up left, up front, up inverted, front inverted. And that will get me my second layer. Again, take your time. Uh, these are on the easier side to memorize. I would say I have them down to muscle memory. I think a lot of people do. There are also shortcuts that can be more efficient. Um, a lot of people that are speed cubing will learn how to do their corners along with their edge pieces, which cuts out a lot of time. A lot of times I will do that when I'm trying to solve for a fast time. All right, we're on to the next step. We currently have our second layer. We're going to next go on to the yellow cross. 